Hey everybody, it's me, Abby, and today I'm going to be doing a story time. Instead of just telling one story, I have multiple stories to tell. And yeah, say so, let's get started. By the way, if you're wondering what this thing on my wrist is, it is because me and Alicia went to a trampoline park. And if you don't know who Alicia is, she is my friend has been in some of my videos. We are having a competition to see who can keep it on the longest. The first story happened with my friend Alicia. We were going hiking in the woods with her older sister Emily. In my hiking vlog, we went hiking in the same woods that this story takes place in. We were hiking there and we were down, there's this park called High Point where it's like the highest point of the entire area so we went to that part and then you can like climb down this like really steep hill and then there's like this area so we climbed down to the little area I don't really know what to call it it's like a really 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 big pit but one part of the pit I'm just gonna call it a pit there was like a bunch of logs so we heard like someone moving around and it wasn't like someone was just like walking around it sounded like they were like running around and like hiding heard someone running around but we didn't see anyone we all pick up rocks just in case it's like someone who's gonna try and kidnap us just got the rocks just to be safe you know and we still heard the person running around so we started to like walk towards where we heard it and when we like got closer, the person stopped or whatever it was. And we thought we saw like a house at the top of the hill, but when we got closer, we realized it wasn't a house. And then we started talking to him, and we were like, how old are you? I'm 10. And then we were like, aren't you a little too young to be out here in the woods alone? And he's like, no. We asked him like, are you lost? And the story was kind of confusing. I'm sorry if it made no sense, but now let's go to the next story. We always go to this water park every summer, and I think this was our very first time ever going there. So at the water park, they obviously have a wave pool. So we went into the wave pool, and you're able to like rent these like inner tubes and go in the wave pool with them. So we got like a double in a tube. Two people can be in it. We went to the deepest part of the wave pool. There were no waves going on. So we were just relaxing in our inner tube, waiting for the waves to come. All of a the sudden, these two guys, I don't know how old they were. I don't even remember what they looked like really. They did not have a tube. They were just like floating around normally. They came and they grabbed onto our tube and they just started hanging there. Alicia and I were just like, um, okay then. One of them starts to talk to us. So he says, I broke my finger, but I'm okay. It's like, that's great. We don't really know what to say to them. They asked us, do you guys want to come over to my house and have a sleepover tonight? We like politely declined. We are just like, um, we're good, thanks. And the waves came on. The waves like pushed them away from our inner tube. When we got done with the wave pool, we went and we told our parents. And then we never saw those people again. So the next story, and the last story, is very funny. Every summer I go to this camp called Camp Paradise, which this story has nothing to do with Camp Paradise. This story takes place the day before I left for Camp Paradise, and this was the only time that me and Alicia were going to Camp Paradise with each other. The day before, we helped each other pack and everything. Once we were all packed, we decided to go to the park. And I guess the day before, it had rained a lot. There's like this huge field in the middle of the park, and then it's surrounded by like a bike path. And in the field, it was completely flooded. Basically like a huge swimming pool. So there were a few other people there. And we had ridden our bikes to the park. So we had our bikes with us. And then we went to just go like put our feet in the water just because it was really hot out. And we wanted to cool down. So we just put our feet in the water. And there were a few other people that were doing the same thing as us and putting their feet in the water. Out of nowhere, 
Alicia Falls, or I may or may not have pushed her, but she was basically just sitting in a pool of rainwater in the middle of a park. She grabs my hand and pulls me down as well. Since we were already in the water, we were just like, eh, let's just swim. So we were swimming in a puddle of a huge puddle of rainwater. So after a while, we got out and we just tried to like go on the swings and stuff to like try and get our clothes dried off so that our parents would never know that we did that. We had to go because it was getting late. But Alicia's mom saw that we were all soaking wet. She got mad at Alicia because the shoes that Alicia was wearing, she needed the next day for camp. I didn't want my parents to know that I went swimming in a puddle, even though they probably wouldn't have cared. Straight upstairs into my room, and I changed into some dry clothes. Those are all the stories for this video. I hope you guys thought they were interesting. If they weren't, then I'm very sorry about that. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. And remember, don't forget to comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Bye!